Hello, and this is Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies. Welcome to our video series here on YouTube called Peppers 101. The purpose of Peppers 101 is to educate y'all, or you guys, or you dudes, or you girls, on different types of peppers. So you hopefully, you'll get exposed to the education and the background or the flavor of these peppers through our videos. And it will inspire you and encourage you to grow different kinds of peppers in your garden. Peppers have so many different flavor profiles. Squash has like some different flavor profiles and cucumbers do, but they're no way as diverse as peppers. Chili peppers and peppers in general have way more flavor profiles than anything else on the planet. Anything else. So you can always get different flavor in different foods if you try different ones all the time. So we encourage you to grow these peppers and, and these or these chilies and teach others about them. Don't keep this knowledge to yourself. Grow them in your garden. Share them with your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers, your children, your grandchildren. Share the knowledge of chilies with people. If we don't pass this kind of information down to generations after us, then we'll lose a lot of the information. Now, this is a pepper that's probably not in danger of losing any information. This is the shishito from Japan. And then get a little bit bigger than this. Now, shishito are... A culinary delight in Japan and more likely you could call it an hors d'oeuvre or a side dish to have with your sushi or your shrimp tempura and uh, the shishito is primarily chopped up or sliced and just seared a little bit in a pan of oil with some sea salt and black pepper similar to the pimentos de padron from Spain uh, they're pretty much used the same way um, some people will even tempura them in some Japanese restaurants and if we go back about five or six years ago, which isn't too long, the shishitos probably were not even seen outside of Japanese restaurants. Um, but now they're becoming a new finger food in American restaurants. So you'll see them in regular restaurants and also in some of your grocery stores, you will see shishito in little packages that you can take home and cook your own shishito. But we encourage you to grow them because they're pretty easy to grow. It's pretty darn pro prolific or productive. Now, they're primarily eaten green. And one pepper out of probably about, oh, 10, just like the Padron, might have a little bit of heat, okay? They ripen to red, so they'll go from this brownish red color to finally red. Now, people don't eat them red. They have a little bit sweeter flavor when they're red, and they have a little more heat. But really, the best flavor is when they're green. But I gotta grow them to their red because I need to get mature seeds from them to have seeds for my plant and my seed business. So I let them ripen to the color of red before harvesting, okay? But if I were gonna eat, the, if I were gonna just grow them for food, which I will do with some of these on these plants, I'll harvest them when they're green. And then I'll chop them up and I'll stir fry them really quick or I'll just blister them a little bit, maybe roast them on my smoker just a little bit, add a little salt and pepper or whatever, and uh, snack away. You just want to just sear them a little bit. You don't want to overcook them uh, because they it's better when they're a little bit crunchy. So you just want to just sear them a little bit and then eat them right away after cooking. So they're not something you want to cook and you want to leave on the kitchen counter for a few hours and then heat them up later. They're not going to have the consistency you want. So you're going to want to leave them fresh in your refrigerator or on your kitchen counter if they're freshly picked. And then you're going to want to cook them and eat them right there on the spot. It's not something you want to have leftovers of, okay? Because it's not going to taste good. You know there's some foods that if you, if you heat them up later, they just don't taste good. So it's, it's the kind of, kind of pepper you want to eat right after you prepare it. Shishito from Japan. And we have pure seeds, pure isolated seeds at Refining Fire Chilies. And the website's www.superhotchilies.com. The flavor is a little bit sweet, uh, not super fruity sweet, but a little bit sweet. They're very tasty. That's all I can say about Shishito. They're just a delicious snacking pepper for you to have at home when you're watching football or some sports or just have some family over. Grill a couple up really quick and eat them, and I don't think anybody will not like a Shishito. Unless it's somebody who hates any kind of spice and they happen to eat one of the hot ones then that person might not be happy. But otherwise, everything, everybody else is going to be really happy. So this is Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies. This is Peppers 101. Please like the video. 
uh, hit the like button. Please share it with people. And please subscribe. You'll be helping us out so we can do more videos. We'll probably have over about 100 this summer of 2023. It's August. It's in We're in Georgia. And it's hot right now and humid. And we're going to get out of here and go back in the house. Take care.